Um, hi. Um, hi. Could you please briefly introduce your design to us? Uh, yeah, that's not so easy without images, but uh, what we try to do is to create a very compact campus uh, on this beautiful site that has the sea in front, the mountains in the back, and all the beautiful green on the site. We wanted to preserve that green, so we choose a plot uh, on the site that had no trees and could be uh, uh, having the campus on its own. We created one container where all the educational facilities are for all the different departments. And we did that in such a way that a lot of interaction between the departments is possible. That container was cut in two pieces and uh, more or less uh, put out of each other and created a heart in the middle. A heart of common facilities like the library, the treasure room with the beautiful books the college has, the lecture rooms, uh, uh, the sports facilities, the canteens, etc. etc. So that all the students that are in these different departments in these labs come down to the center and uh, mingle with each other, talk to each other, and uh, really create interdisciplinary uh, education. Yeah, and have, you, have your team encountered any difficulties while designing our new campus site-wise? Uh, of course, uh, it's always a challenge to create a building. There are always uh, kind of good things and difficulties in, in a project. One, one of the difficulties we encountered was that uh, the lease line or the line of the plot changed during the design. So we had to kind of uh, create the building in a new way. Uh, it, it cut 10 meters off the site. So we had to cut 10 meters off the building to kind of solve that problem was not easy, but we solved it. And also the groundwater uh, was different than what uh, was expected uh, beforehand. So that was also something we had to look for. Uh, but now uh, everything is solved and uh, luckily groundbreaking is today. Yeah. Yeah. And the concept is actually still very much the same as when we presented it in the competition stage. I see. Um, since we have a very tight schedule, mm -hmm. in what ways um, your design can help speed up the construction process? Uh, there are two ways we do that. Because it's so un unbelievably compact, uh, we build on one position and it is one building that can be erected very fast. Secondly, we choose a facade system that is not only the facade, but the structure also, so it's, which is called a structural facade. So we can erect the building very fast uh, because we don't first have to do columns and beams and then a facade. Actually, the whole thing comes up immediately in one go, uh, which speeds up the building process uh, tremendously. New campus will be built with an environmentally friendly and sustainable principle. Yes. So could you first explain what is um, uh, environmental friendly and sustainable in your industry? In our industry it has different uh, kind of meanings, but the main meaning is that the building in itself is sustainable uh, for the people using it, mm -hmm. but it is also very sustainable when you plan it, uh, the materials that are used and also after its lifetime, so when it needs to be demolished, uh, things can be reused, for example. But in our design, there are two main uh, things that we try to do. We try to reduce the cooling loads. As you see today, we are sweating, it's very hot, uh, and the building will be in this climate. Uh, students still need to be able to do their education in a proper way. Uh, you can use air conditioning, but air conditioning is not very sustainable. So what we try to do with our design is tunnel the winds that come from sea, that go to the mountain, through the building. So we made a combination between natural ventilation and uh, uh, air conditioning in this building, which, were, with which we were able to reduce the loads of the air conditioning with almost 40%. So it's really energy saving. Energy saving, so that's one thing we did. The second thing we did is, as I already said, for the speed up, we created just one layer, namely the facade and the structure in one go. So we don't use a lot of different materials in layers, which all need energy, which all needs kind of uh, building. Uh, we create one layer and in one go, and therefore we save a lot of energy also while building. The, uh, the material we use is concrete and steel, which are both coming from Hong Kong. So also no transportation, no uh, uh, kind of difficulties coming from Europe or America, just local materials, which will be used. Compared to other no local universities in Hong Kong, mm -hmm. is there anything special of our new campus? Uh, yes, definitely. I think you're the first campus that has a main building that contains different departments in one building. Uh, a lot of the universities in, in Hong Kong have different buildings for different departments. So that's unique. The second thing that is unique is the location you're building. Uh, all the other universities are all in the city or on the outskirts of the city, but never have this beauty of 
the sea, uh, the mountains and the green in one go already. So uh, that's an exceptional uh, situation. Yeah. Yeah. And one last question. Yeah. While you are designing our new campus, have you also planned some room for um, our future development? Yes, we did. Uh, by keeping the building very compact, uh, we save a lot of the site uh, where future development could take place. But also in front uh, of the building, on the other side of Castle Peak Road, there are sites that the college is looking at on developing later on when the campus started. And uh, what we try to do is make visual relationships already with uh, these sites. So that connection to the, head, to the main building always will take place from wherever you are in the campus. Thank you very much. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you.